Welcome back to the Criminal's official Dark Math video guide. We're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. Just a couple sections to go. In this section, we will be covering 131 through 160. And overall, a relatively straightforward section. If you know your checkout's under 100, then you'll be in good shape to hit these bigger combination finishes. Once we're in these higher numbers, it's really very simple. You're basically going to be subtracting 60 or 57 from your starting score and then finishing the resulting two dart combination any way you can. There's not many tricks to it. You just need to know your lower checkouts and then essentially you could really just subtract 60 every time if you had to and hit the resulting number. There are, however, a couple principles and mental notes that we want to pay attention to. So let's go over that here. Firstly, we do need to avoid, of course, the only bogey in this section, which is 159. You cannot check that out, so you do not want to end up on that number. 158 and 155 are a little bit less desirable as well, only because they both finish on double 19. So if you can avoid those and get to, say, 157 or 156 instead, that would be ideal. If you can hit a double, I'm sorry, a treble double-double combo, do so if under pressure. So here, there are a couple combination finishes that instead of requiring two trebles like the rest of them do, you can hit a treble double-double finish. And if you're under extreme pressure, that is the best route to take because... The double segment, much larger than the smaller treble segment. Uh, use the bowl if you can, both in finishing a couple of the combinations and to leave a good number with three singles or using the bowl to get a better tier. What I mean by tiers, and I'll talk about this more in a separate video, uh, tiers would be like numbers above 130, for example, compared to numbers in the 120s. 130 numbers and above will require two trebles, where numbers in the 120s will only require one. Or another tier would be numbers under 100, excluding 99, versus numbers above 100, because numbers above 100 require three darts. They check out like 97, only requires two. So those are different tiers, and if you can use the bowl to get to a lower tier, that will help you save darts on your next visit. With that said, I'm not going to highlight every single number of this section, but there are a few that we're going to take a look at, and we're actually going to start with the first one, 131. So this is one of those double-double options, treble 17, double 20, double 20. If you're under pressure, is the best route to go. However, you can go treble 20, treble 13, double 16 if you're not under pressure. Again, with these bigger finishes, you have a lot of options. If you want to start on treble 17 and hit treble 20, double 10, you can do that too. That's probably what I do most often, just to give myself the chance for double double if I want to take it. But really, you just need to hit a treble followed by another treble, and then the resulting double. We're now going to look at 132. And this is one of the ones where you definitely want to start on the bullseye. Uh, a bit of a show finish, one of the best finishes out there. Bullseye, bullseye, double 16 is a definite option here. Uh, we can also go first start bullseye, switch it over to treble 14 to leave tops. Uh, this is usually what I like to do if I'm playing a serious match because... Again, this treble 14, much larger target than the bullseye, especially once there's a dart in there already. Then the third route is going to be with the single bowl, the 25. That leaves us 107. 107 with two darts, treble 19, back to the bullseye. So that's why we want to go the bowl there, because we technically only need one treble with the single and then the treble 19 to get to that finish. Let's look at 134, and again, the reason we're going to highlight this is because it is another double-double opportunity. Treble 18 leaves 80, 
and again two double top to finish it off. Another route that is nice to take is two treble 19s to leave you double 10. If I'm not under pressure, that's the route I like to go because I don't have to change my target and stay on the same treble. However, under pressure, that treble 18 and again double double is the way we want to go. 135, another bullseye starting number. And it's for a similar reason that we start on the 132. Again, bullseye leaves us 85, which will go treble 15 to tops, just like our normal 85 checkout. However, what's nice here is the 25 leaves us 110. What did we learn in the last video? 110 with two darts means 60 to the bullseye. The next one we're going to highlight is 137. You may notice a pattern with the three numbers that result in double-double. They all end on double-20, double-20, which means we're just simply adding the treble amount of the corresponding treble to 80. We're going to end up on 80 on our second dart, so 80 plus 57 here means treble-19, double-20, double-20 for 137. And the op other option is, of course, going to be treble 19 to treble 20 if we don't need to go double double, and that is going to result in double 10. Just kind of want to remember those numbers in the 130s that are special 132, 135 in the bullseye, and then that 131, 134, 137, the three numbers that use the treble to wind up on 80 with two darts left. Those are the ones to keep in mind. Now, moving forward with the rest, there is not too many finishes that are that special. Uh, so I'm just going to highlight a couple that really have some kind of more optional or different routes. And one of those is going to be 142. There's absolutely zero problem with going treble 20, which leaves 82 to go here, treble 14 to tops. Not under pressure, this is a great way to go treble 20, bullseye to double 16. Alternatively, if we hit a 25 instead that way, of course, 57 left. But this is why you really need to know those under 100 checkouts. I kind of just went through that real quick because I knew on 82 how to finish it. Bullseye, 25, treble 14. Those are the ways you finish 82. So all we're doing is taking 60 from 142, and that's where we are. 82 with our second dart. Now it's cool about 142. If you're a player like Gerwin Price, you can go with two treble 17s here to get the tops. Just a little bit of a different route if you prefer to stay on the same target. Let's move on now to another one in here. 146. Again, no problem at all if you want to go treble 20 first. Minus 60, it leaves us 86, which means 86 is treble 18 to double 16. However, you'll notice a pattern. I like to shoot at the same target when I can, because you can kind of follow that first start rather than having to move around. So 146, we can go with two treble 19s. That leaves a beautiful double 16. Nice route as well. There. One I also want to touch on is 150, and the reason I want to point out this is because this one I don't like to use, the 19, and I'll explain why. A lot of pros will go treble 19, treble 19, double 18 here, but here's my problem with that. What is 150 minus 60? It is 90, and 90 is a newer, lower tier compared to, say, 91. So if we were to go that treble 19 route, right, so we go with treble 19, we hit a single. And of course, that single puts us on 131. Let's say we now switch up here and go single 20, single 20. There's no harm in doing so. We've scored 59. We've left ourselves on 91. Well, 91, we're going to need to hit a treble in order to get to a finish. But if we start our turn on the treble 20 from 150, treble 20, treble 18, double 18 is the route. But what's nice is a miss into the single and a miss into the single 
and a miss into the single means we've scored 60, which has put us on a lower tier of 90. So for that reason, I do not recommend starting on the 19s on 150. Now 154, I will start on the 19s, and for the opposite reason. Again, we have the treble treble double combination there where we don't have to change targets. But again, what did I mention with the tiers? We can use the bullseye, right? So here's an example of that. If I hit a single 19, I now have 135 left. I can come here for the 20s. If I hit a single, I now have 115 left with one dart. I can now go to the bullseye and leave myself either 65 or more likely 90. Again, that 90 tier is a nice tier because we should be getting a shot at the bullseye as discussed in that video. So for that reason, I don't recommend starting on the 20s here. Instead, start on the 19s, and then you're going to switch to 20 and bull if you're hitting all singles. Let's talk about one of the ones that I said to avoid and explain again why to avoid it. 155 used to be the highest checkout in photo history, no longer, but there's only one route to go. Treble 20 to 95, treble 19, double 19 is how you clean up 95. So again, just an awkward finish, having to finish on that double 19. 158 is no different. You only have one choice, treble, treble, double. That one is just even worse, in my opinion, because you're not even moving to the bottom of the board until you have to switch all the way down. Not really ideal, in my opinion. Again, 159, big red letters there, avoid it. It is a bogey. You cannot check it out. Do not think in your brain, well, I hardly check out these big numbers anyway, because as I've preached, any chance is better than zero chance. I promise you, nobody will check out 159, but certainly you could check out 160. You've thrown two trebles before. Why couldn't you do it in that moment there? you got to give yourself a chance, and to do that, you must avoid the bogeys. That's it for this section, really, guys. Again, the big thing is those early numbers in the 130s that are kind of special, where you're shooting at either the chance for the double-double or the 135 and the 132, where you're starting on the bull. Otherwise, other than some nuance, again, you're just subtracting 60 or 57 from the number you start on and cleaning up your combination from there. So again, study those lower checkouts to build a foundation, then work on these big numbers, and good luck out there.